Hi guys, it's Monica with Scrap Saturdays, and this is my completed Life's a Beach um, mini album, the shorts mini album. And before I go any further, I wanted to say that I cut out most of my stuff with the Life's a Beach cartridge. So most of my flowers and leaves came out of this cartridge. But the pockets that you'll see on the inside came from the Old West cartridge. And it's on page 65, and it's the board feature of the Howdy Partner um, button feature. And I cut it out at four inches. And I love the pocket. So I hope you love it too. I think I'm going to be using it in the future for another project. So we all know about my huge catastrophe with the zipper, but uh, this zipper works fine. And these are the leaves that I'm talking about that I cut out with the Life's a Beach cartridge. This is a tag that I saved from one of my articles of clothing. And I just love that it has this ball chain effect um, look to it. I'm pretending that this is a shark's tooth. And there's some Velcro on this one. It opens up like that, and there's another one of those leaves. And these tags have some journaling, a little pocket watch type. So then it opens up like this, and I'll be focusing on the inside pages first. So very simple, very plain, nothing too fancy. Some of my pages are more extravagant than the others. I cut up the surfs up from Life's a Beach and I added some ribbon detail. I don't know if I showed you on the cover. Did I do that on the cover? No. So it looks like, you know, those ribbon tag details on the side of your pocket. So I added that and it just folds out. It has all my pictures in there. And I used some eyelets and fed my ribbon double-sided through that. My Martha Stewart punches. On this middle page I used some of my Prima uh, lace and pearl bling and I circle cut out that picture and I put again that little ribbon detail. Distressed my edges. Used some real jean buttons that I got from Walmart. And the the cartridge has a card feature on it and this is one of the features of the card so I cut out the card and then I layered it by making my own little book and adding more pages to it but the but the card itself is the base and then I just made another mat to match on top So this inside um, pair of shorts, I went really, I don't know if it's grungy or I just went crazy. I, I layered my stamps on top of stamps. This uh, wing heart stamp is a Hannah Montana stamp and I added some bling to the middle of um, my other stamps. I put a button here. I just like the way that button looked with the gold detail on it. And these again are just no rhyme or reason, just some flap out pages where I can add a lot of photos. This is back when I used to take pictures of everything that moves. Now I'm a little bit more conservative. I don't do as crazy. Um, but again, simple trim. I added some more bling to the paper itself. I find this paper so beautiful and sometimes I feel sad to cover it up. This is a simple page. I said that I was going to put some Velcro here, which I did not. Again, another one of the jean buttons. This is actually a tag that comes out for some journaling. These flowers are from the Life's a Beach Cricut cartridge that I cut out. These are just Prima flowers with a, a pearl bra that I put there. And then we're already at the back cover where these are the pockets that I'm talking about that came from the Old West cartridge and I added some stickles to them and I love them. They're so cute. And again, just some plain journaling tags with a button on top. So 
So that would be one way to open up my mini. Which is going through the zipper side. Then on the side is my lace up side. And this is actually where I first did the pockets because when I flipped the book over, I had left some of my other pages or other shorts on the other side empty and I didn't, I, I kind of not ran out of ideas, but I just didn't know what to do. And then I was looking for pockets and then I found these on my Old West because I used my Old West cartridge to make a layout for my son's birthday. And I was like, woo hoo, this is awesome. I love it. So again, I did that. Um, detail just like as if you had a pair of jeans. These are functional pockets because that's how they cut out. This is just a little pin that I stole from my daughter. I bargained her. I traded for something. Um, she's seven so she's easily fooled. I'm like oh honey I love it. She's happy. She thinks it looks cute. This is a charm um, keychain that I found at the dollar store but it's got pink dolphins on it and these little purple and red bells and everything just matched so I just loved it and I thought what a cute little detail and again on this side I did my lace up so that it could be a double sided mini album or reversible or so it just takes a few more seconds than the zipper does And again, I reinforced all the holes with uh, eyelids. So this side, I think, of the album is a little bit more subdued. I didn't go too crazy. I love this paper. It actually has felt like um, texture to it. And I, I sometimes don't want to cover up all my paper. So I did hide my photos in here. And I cut this out with my Life's a Beach cartridge. This page, I actually didn't do anything to it because I just love the pink on it and it was kind of my transition and I just didn't want to cover it up. I just liked it and I, I put my mom's vintage lace that I have so much of and I really liked it like that. This page again is simple. This is my boo-boo. Some hot glue fell there and when I went to lift it up I ripped my paper. But you need to see it the way I do it. This page is it has a curse on it because I remember telling you that when I went to bind my paper I messed up my punching there a little bit but I still kept it and it's still just one of those pages where I'm just gonna have to be happy with it so I put two big purple buttons a picture here just like a layout and then I added one of my um, paper roses that I have and my stamp set there on this page I have a picture that I turned into a pocket and then another picture on the back and I this is the first time I tried this but I really like it I double layered lace and tied it down with some of that extra ribbon there again that Hannah Montana wings with the heart stamp layered with another stamp I kind of like that layering effect with a little bling there and the trim and then this is another Martha Stewart punch that I've got and I did my black and white photos on this side So I love the way that turned out. And that's it. This is the back. And again, another one of my mother-in-law's crocheted flowers. And this is that original pocket that I showed you to begin with. And that's my family. And that's it. And I'm almost done. I just have to write in my journaling. I won't fight with that while I'm on camera. But I hope that you enjoy this. I hope that you try it out. It was a little bit of work to get my zipper going, but once that was done, that was good. The binding works fine, and I'm excited to put this out on my coffee table so that we can look forward to some hot summer weather. And again, these pockets, guys, absolutely love them. I love the way they look. I love the way they turned out. I love that they're functional. You can actually put stuff in it, and I love, love the way they look with the stickles on the little cut out stitch design that the Cricut leaves behind. Just fabulous. So I hope it was worth the wait. I hope you enjoy um, my Schwartz mini album. I like it. It's colorful. It's fun. 
and uh, I'll be I'll be starting a new project with another cartridge with another um, pattern so hopefully um, I will get that up by the weekend and thank you so much guys for all your love your comments and your support have a great day